Darren James Leonard James Promotions. Many travelers new to cruising do not always realize that not everything is included in their cruise price. Many are shocked when they board their ship and realize they will need additional monies to get them through their trip. So, you ask, what is included and what should I expect to pay for while I'm on my dream vacation? Although each cruise line has its own set of inclusions, the following information does apply to the majority of the cruise lines, the ones that are categorized as mainstream cruise lines. What is included in the price of your cruise? Accommodations. Meals. Limited beverages. Onboard activities. Children and teen programs. Fitness centers. Entertainment accommodations, with your stateroom accommodations a cabin steward will be assigned to you. S. He will attend to your every need including turning down your bed at night, cleaning of your room at least once a day, etc. Cabins come equipped with televisions and stereos. Bathroom amenities that are often included are shampoo, conditioner, body wash, soaps, razors, etc. Most new ships may also include blow dryers and refrigerators, but not always. Because of fire hazards, irons are not furnished and are not allowed in the staterooms, however, ships do offer ironing services at a fee. Meals, you will certainly not go hungry while cruising. All meals are included from day to night. Most cruises have 24-hour buffet areas where you can eat any time of day. Sit-down gourmet dinners that are served include appetizers, salads, main entree and desserts. You can also order additional entrees, if you are glutton. Popular meals are also the ship's midnight buffets, pizza parties, and ice cream parties. If you are still hungry or just want to order in, the ship's 24-hour room service is always available. Limited beverages, overall, drinks are not included unless they are being served with breakfast, buffets or dinners. Included drinks are usually limited to iced tea, lemonade, some juices, coffee, and water, not bottled. Onboard activities, you will never be bored on a cruise ship because they have ongoing activities throughout the day that are gratis. These may include swimming or relaxing in a hot tub, contests and games, dance and golf lessons, karaoke and sing-alongs, etc. Children and teen programs, all of the mainstream ships will offer organized children and teen programs that keep the entire family happy. These programs are normally categorized by age and include age-appropriate activities. Fitness centers, cruise ships offer state-of-the-art fitness centers for the health-conscious traveler. Centers include fitness machines such as stationary or spin bikes, treadmills, and stair steppers. There are also offerings of aerobics, yoga or Pilates classes. Not all classes offered are free, but there are many to choose from that are included. Hint, these classes fill up fast. Entertainment What kind of entertainment is offered on a cruise ship? We don't have enough time to list everything, but these ships include theaters that feature elaborate Vegas-style shows, singers, comics, etc. Additionally you will find cinema-style theaters that show current movies. There are bar lounges with music to dance the night away, karaoke bars to sing the night away, or piano bars. There are numerous deck and pool parties. And don't forget the casinos which may feature high-stakes poker tournaments, of course gambling money is not included. You will find that the list of what is not included in a cruise is much shorter than what is included. What is not included in the price of your cruise? Tips. Beverages. Spa treatments. Shore excursions tips, when paying a cruise rate, the tips will not be included, although you can always pre-pay for the tips. Most of the workers on a cruise ship earn most of their money on tips, dot and they do earn it, you will not find better waiters, stewards, or bartenders anywhere. Most cruise lines have recommended tipping standards that normally start at $10 per day per guest. Basically, these tips are distributed among the personnel that service your every need for the included cruise items such as your stateroom stewards, waiters, or bus person. Most cruise lines will automatically add their recommended tip amount to your stateroom account at time of sailing. This amount can always be decreased or increased based on the service received. Beverages, alcoholic beverages are not included in your cruise rate. Also sodas, specialty coffees, or bottled water are not included. 
There may be options to buy packages for unlimited wine or alcohol or sodas that may be worth purchasing your beverage consumption as high. Spa treatments. All cruise ships offer state-of-the-art spa treatments such as messages, facials, and salon services. All these are extra. Dot but, boy, are they worth it. Shore excursions. Of course shore excursions are not included. There are dozens of things to do when ships dock at the beautiful exotic destinations. Cruise lines make it very easy for their clients to book excursion online even before they board the ship. Of course, shore excursion bookings are also available once you board. Try to remember to dot 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 dot. Keep track of your spending by holding on to all receipts. Dot 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 dot. Check your account balance throughout the day. Dot 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 dot. Book the must-do shore excursion ahead of time since they may sell out. Packing is the toughest part of cruise ship travel. Use the following cruise packing list to avoid ruining your vacation by forgetting needed items. You will save a load of money by avoiding to purchase supplies you could have easily packed. Essential items. Airline tickets or e-ticket confirmation cruise documents, passports and visas driver's license and auto insurance card for driving in your ports of call medical insurance cards and medical history list of medications you are taking one credit card, keep the rest at home cash or traveler's checks and receipt three copies of passport and visas, driver license, airline tickets, cruise tickets, itinerary, one in your carry-on, one in your checked luggage, and leave one at home plug adapters and converter contact numbers to report lost, stolen credit cards or traveler's checks wallet wrapped in a rubber band. A cruise packing list tip to avoid pickpocketing. Cruising packing list for men. Boxers, briefs, athletic shoes, dress shoes, sandals, flip-flops for the beach sports jacket, tie, casual shirts and dress shirts, belts, hat, caps, socks, formal, sport, pants, formal and casual, jeans, short swim suit, pajamas, t-shirts, undershirts, workout clothes, dark suit or tuxedo with appropriate shirt and cufflinks, windbreaker jacket, sweatshirt, raincoat cruising packing list for women. Lingerie, pajamas, belts and scarves. Costume jewelry. Leave the real stuff back home evening shoes, comfortable walking shoes and sandals, socks, flip-flops for the beach. Shorts, slacks, skirts, jeans, sundresses wide-brimmed hat and cap shirts and blouses, short-sleeved, long-sleeved, and sleeveless workout clothes swim suit and sarong dress for informal, formal and casual nights, an evening sweater windbreaker jacket, sweatshirt, raincoat, sweater toiletries and sundries. Comb, brush, shower cap deodorant, razor, shaving kit, shaving cream shampoo, conditioner, styling products toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, dental floss blow dryer, straightening iron, curling iron, scrunchies eyeliner, eyeshadow, mascara, blush, lipstick, lip balm makeup remover, facial cleanser, moisturizer soap gel or soap in plastic container nail clippers and file packed in check luggage hair gel, hairspray makeup mirror, tweezers, nail polish and remover contact lenses cleaner hand sanitizing lotion medical needs and supplies antibiotic cream bug repellent cortisone 1 percent anti-itch cream anti-diarrhea medication sea sickness medications pain reliever birth control prescription medications bandages band-aids antibacterial wipes sunscreen electronics and miscellaneous items Digital camera and case, batteries, memory cards, manuals, disposable underwater camera cell phone and charger, laptop and charger small flashlight and night light for interior rooms, small travel alarm clock, two sets of sunglasses, contacts lenses, and reading glasses. Guidebooks, foreign language dictionary, maps paperbacks, journal, notebook, pen, pencil, playing cards binoculars, snorkeling gear currency converter crazy glue, plastic ziplock bags lint roller, duct tape for damaged hems and bags plastic cable lock ties for securing luggage upon departure, extra luggage name tags sewing kit and scissors, travel sized clothes detergent empty bag for souvenirs and shore excursions being prepared will ensure an enjoyable retreat. Avoid ruining a perfect cruise vacation by neglecting to bring all your essentials. It can be a costly mistake. Packing for a Bahamas cruise is just like packing for any excursion or camping trip. First of all, the traveler must have a clear idea of what to pack for the cruise. 
When packing for a Bahamas cruise, one should consider the duration of the trip, expected weather, and travelers' tastes and interests. Pack only necessary items. Always try to avoid excess luggage, and carry clothing items that can be reused. Comfortable casual clothes are ideal for the daytime. Pack your bag with extra pairs of swimsuits, gym clothes, long sleeve and short sleeve shirts, rainwear, shorts, and sweaters. Passports, birth certificates, cruise documents, and tickets are among the essential things that must be included while packing for Bahamas cruises. Always take an extra copy of these documents. Take along home cards with your home address and telephone number. Do take pack accessories such as snorkel gear, ponchos or rain gear, hiking boots, and fleece jackets. Try to leave expensive jewelry and other valuable items at home. Don't forget to add all your medicines and prescriptions. In addition, receive an extra prescription from the doctor for any medications you are currently taking and carry them with you. A camera or video camera is a necessary item to take. Most of the cruise lines feature 110 volt outlets in cabins, so you can also pack travel irons, hair dryers, electric shavers, and hair dryers. If necessary, bring suntan lotion, a hat, and sunglasses. If you are planning to take your child with you for a Bahamas cruise, then make sure to bring all the necessary clothing and accessories. Also, remember to include a carry-on bag, folding bag, and large or medium-sized suitcase. In addition to the above, a wireless telephone, important telephone numbers, toothbrush and toothpaste, umbrella, business cards, batteries, and emergency items are some other requirements to be included when packing for Bahamas cruises. Bahamas cruises usually run for three to four days and it is a perfect starter cruise for those who are new to cruising. It provides a taste of cruising without having to endure a long voyage. The typical ports of call are Freeport Grand Bahama Island and Nassau, and you get to choose your embarkation point from a number of places. The Bahamas are renowned for its beautiful beaches. The place is an exceptional spot for recreation under the sun and for fantastic shopping sprees. Bahamas Cruise is a great choice for those with limited days of vacation. Western. Western Caribbean cruises offer a fabulous itinerary for those who enjoy the ocean. Because the distance from port to port is longer, sailing time will occupy a great deal of the cruise's duration. The good thing about the Western route is that it offers a greater variety of ports than the other routes. The common ports of call are Key West, Costa Maya, Mexico, Jamaica, and Belize City. Although beach activities and shopping times are considerably lessened, you get to see Mexico's Mayan ruins or hike in some rainforest. The western ports have been accepting visitors for a long time, and naturally the hassles encountered by cruisers before has already been ironed out. Eastern. The Eastern Caribbean route takes you to islands that are more beautiful and this route will endow you with the feeling of getting away from it all. The typical ports of call include the Bahamas, Puerto Rico, St. Thomas, Grand Turk, St. Martin, and the Netherlands Antilles. You can find magnificent beaches on almost all of these ports and each can offer their own natural attraction. The majority of Eastern cruises dock at St. Thomas, which tend to be a popular port as it always has something to offer for everyone. However, due to its popularity the place can easily get crowded especially when ships are docked in its port at the same time. This route is perfect for those who are looking to spend more time on the beach, as the distance between ports are shorter. Southern. Southern Caribbean cruises are inclined to be port exhaustive due to closeness of most southern islands. But the most attractive islands can be found in the south and they are the best place for snorkeling and diving. The common ports of call are Aruba, Bonaire, Grenada, Barbados, Curaçao, and Antigua. If you are looking for a longer cruise in the Caribbean that will last for more than seven days, then the Southern Caribbean is the perfect route for you. Finally, select a good cruise ship that will take you there. Every cruise ship has a different itinerary, facilities and packages to offer ranging from a single person to the whole family. Whatever route you choose going to the Caribbean, you definitely will not miss the fun and excitement it has to offer, on board or in the islands. 
Cruises are fun and can be quite luxurious or uniquely adventurous, and since cruises are different than any others, people often wonder what to bring on board for the trip. In researching an article on what to bring I found many lists of things to pack already on the web. In fact, I found so many lists that it seems that every website has one and they are often different. With so many lists already in print, I wondered how a list of things to leave at home might work. After all, we've all heard that the airlines have banned certain items from being carried on board, but what about cruise ships? Are there any limitations as to what can be brought on board? I found out cruise lines all have regulations about what can and cannot be carried aboard. Since the regulations are at least partly determined by the cruise line itself, the list of restricted items varies somewhat from company to company as does the disposition of the contraband. Most companies will simply confiscate the item and hold it until the cruise is over, then return it to the owners. In some instances, the goods may be destroyed or thrown away. Do not bring alcohol. Perhaps the most common item to be confiscated is alcohol. Most cruise lines have a policy of some kind about bringing alcohol on board. Some allow it, and some do not. Along with alcohol is any kind of drugs other than prescription medicine. Remember, all prescription medicine should be brought in the original pharmacy bottles. Don't bring medications that aren't in their original bottles because in the eyes of someone searching a bag the difference between prescription medicine and illegal drugs is often only the label on the bottle. Do not bring anything anything that makes a flame other than a cigarette lighter, or anything that produces heat. Leave at home the candles, incense and hot plates. Some luxury cruises may also curtail the use of small appliances like irons and blow dryers so be sure to check with the cruise provider before bringing these items. Do not bring pets. Of course pets are usually not allowed on board cruises except for service dogs and even they require advanced permission to bring. Some people have been known to argue that the animals they want to bring are not pets and therefore fall outside the ban. Therefore, most cruise lines simply state animals and this is implied to include fish, birds, bug collections, etc. Likewise, plants, seeds, shrubs and other similar items are often banned. These last two categories are important especially to travelers who may go off on a shore excursion and want to bring something back on board with them. Check with the cruise line first. Do not bring explosives, firearms, ammunition, fireworks, knives, axes, bottled gases, except oxygen for breathing and again only with advanced permission, and anything else that might be considered a weapon in general. This may seem like a common sense item, but there are a lot of different interpretations of what is necessary to bring along. Do not bring skateboards, roller skates, roller blades, pogo sticks, bicycles, tricycles, unicycles and motorized carts or scooters, wheelchairs and scooters will again require advanced permission. To round out the list, certain foods might not be allowed like some fruits, vegetables, etc. This again can be a problem when visiting different ports. The best advice is, when in doubt, leave it out. You finally have finished planning your cruise and are patiently waiting the days until you embark for your much anticipated vacation. Cruises are so great because there is little to worry about once you have stepped on the ship. Your meals, entertainment, and planning is all done for you. All you have to do is sit back, relax, and take it all in. Packing for your cruise is a different story. You want to make sure you are prepared for a week of exciting adventures, and making a list before you start packing is the best way to make sure you do not leave anything behind. Before you grab your suitcases and start shoving random items in, take a look at the packing suggestions below to help everyone in your family prepare. For everyone. Travel documents depending on which destinations your cruise is going to, you may not need all of the travel documents listed below. However, it is very important to check with your travel agent or cruise line beforehand to make sure you do not forget any travel documents necessary. Airline tickets or confirmation number for your e-tickets, passports and visa, proof of citizenship, vaccination certificate, records, driver's license. Wallet items. You want to make sure to make a list of everything that is in your wallet and photocopy them in case your wallet is lost while you are on vacation. 
medical insurance cards, credit cards, ATM card, pre-paid phone card, even if you have a cell phone, you may not get reception, cash, traveler's checks, put receipt for traveler's check in a different location, emergency numbers, current pictures of your children if they are accompanying you, in case they get lost. First aid, medical. Prescription medicines, small first aid kit with band-aids, antibiotic cream, aspirin, etc. Antibacterial hand sanitizer, bug spray, sunscreen, over-the-counter medicines such as ibuprofen, dramamine, and anti-diarrheal medication. Electronics. Camera with extra batteries and film if you have a film camera, cell phone and charger, for when you are at ports, MP3 player and charger, travel alarm, flashlight, PDA, laptop and cord, handheld gaming system. Other. Books, magazines, notebook, journal, pen, guide book for places you'll be stopping, sunglasses, reading glasses. For her. For a female, there is a list of necessary items that would be beneficial to take on a cruise vacation. The following list goes into detail concerning those items. Enough tops and bottoms to last for trip, one or two evening outfits for formal nights, bras, underwear, socks, pantyhose, pajamas, robe, handbag or tote for day, evening bag, comfortable walking shoes, sandals, shoes for pool, beach, evening shoes, hats, jewelry, jacket, sweatshirt, exercise clothes, bathing suits, raincoat, hair dryer, curling iron, curlers, hair products, shampoo, conditioner, soap, comb or brush, toothpaste, toothbrush, dental floss, makeup, makeup remover, mirror, moisturizer, shaving cream, nail clippers, nail file, tweezers, razors. If you are going on plane, these items need to be put in secured luggage underneath the plane. For him. For a male, there is also a list of necessary items that would be beneficial to take on a cruise vacation. The following list goes into detail concerning those items. Enough tops and bottoms to last for trip, one or two formal outfits, undershirts, underwear, socks, sleep outfits, comfortable walking shoes, sandals, shoes for the pool, beach, dress shoes, hats, jewelry, jacket, sweatshirt, raincoat, exercise clothes, bathing suits, hair dryer, hair products, shampoo, conditioner, soap, comb or brush, toothpaste, toothbrush, dental floss, moisturizer, shaving cream, nail clippers, nail file, tweezers, razor. If you are going on plane, these items need to be put in secured luggage underneath the plane. For kids. It is very important to properly pack for your children when going on a vacation such as a cruise. The following list can help you make sure you do not forget anything while packing. Several changes of clothing, one more than you think you might need, shoes, sandals, socks, jacket or sweatshirt, raincoat, swimwear, goggles, swimmies or flotation arm bands, cups with lids for young kids, appropriate snacks, reading materials, crayons, coloring books, deck of cards, personal DVD player with a few favorite DVDs, MP3 player, handheld gaming system, hats, sunblock. Darren James Leonard James Promotions website for more Leonard James Promotions.net